Hello, everybody. It's Marsha from Kansas Misfit. And today I thought about doing my live video on my garden. Like where I'm going to have it and what am I going to plant. And um, I'm going to try to draw out some plans here as I go. Uh, I have, I just bought, well, my husband got them for me. I got herbs that I wanted to plant because I want to make salves and tinctures and um, some tinctures and salves and other medicinal uh, properties for helping with our problems we might have. Your heart, your uh, bruises and cuts and Problems you might come across. Well, we have some some rosemary, and I heard that it's very hard to grow. What I want to do, we have some uh, um, cattle tanks or water tanks. Those big round people, when we were growing up, could fill them up with water and use them as little pool, swimming pools. Uh, no, stock tanks, that's what they're called. But I'm going to have that moved into the garden area, and my husband will fill it up with dirt with a tractor with a big scoop and then after we get it leveled out and get some what we need to my brother just singing now that they're done I can continue uh, to get them um, ready to plant in then I can plant my, my rosemary which will take the longest to grow and I hope I can keep the weeds out of it and let it grow good. And I'm also going to put some time in there. Everybody needs some time in their garden. And then some sage. I love the smell of sage. I'm going to grow some sage. And then some fennel. And I don't know if if um, this is what you eat, the big white bulb, or the green that comes up. I'm not for sure. Hi, Joanne. How are you today? Then I want to plant some lavender, which I can dry those out. And when I make soap, I can make lavender soap. And which I will be making soap during the summer as well. Or during the fall, I'm not for sure. Whenever I get everything together to make it. Here's some, you're sleepy still. Um, lavender mint for making tea. Maybe I can use this kind of flower in different kinds of soap, too. Lavender mint soap sounds interesting. So did you get any sleep when you traveled, when you got back home? Anyway, I think I'm going to be making a garden here and not going to our cell phone. So I have to make my plans out. We have in the field where I walked... Uh, a couple weeks ago, and my video kept dying because I was too far away from home. <laughs> I was like two mile walk, so it was out there, ways away from the house. Um, I, there was forty foot, at least thirty foot, thirty forty foot telephone poles out uh, on the ground, and that's what I'm going to use for my my uh, my garden green beds, green beds, raised beds. Wow, I don't know. I I get tired sometimes. Just sit here in my chair, my rocking chair, and close my eyes and just sleep twenty minutes or so. Wake up, and the cat's in my lap. <laughs> but I hope you can get some sleep tonight. Especially with the time change, it makes it a little difficult because you get less sleep now, or yeah, something like that, an hour less. Anyway. So I'm going to get that stock tank. And that's where I put all my herbs in. The stock tank. And I'm going to. There's other herbs as well. Um, that I'm wanting to plant. And I, I have some. Elderberries. Which I want to. Yeah, find them again. I think they're 
someplace. I have elder bears I want to plant as well. What is this thing? Then when I did get to sleep, Ella woke up and started to poke. So it was a long night. Can't you just let her latch on and hold her and go back to sleep while she's eating? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I did with you when I was so tired. Not from traveling, just from trying to take care of your kids. But, but just you at that time. But I just lay you on me, hold you in my arms, and go to sleep. And wake up. And if you're hungry again, I'd stick you on the other boob and let you finish eating. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Kind of getting off track here, but I'm, I'm going to answer as you talk. So, what you have to say, or anybody else that comes in here has a say, it means a lot to me too. I wouldn't be able to share my time with you, even though I'm talking about my garden. I still want to be able to share my time with you and answer questions as they, they come up on the screen. If I'm able, um. So what we're going to do is with these 30 foot or 40 foot telephone poles, we're, we're going to take them and move them into the garden area where I'm going to have a garden and stack two on top of each other. And we're going to put like a, a stake on both sides, a, a fence posts and then, and poke it in and then fence posts on the other side. So the, the posts don't fall and then we'll fill it up with dirt. And do the ends, and then we'll have the big raised, raised bed to plant what we're going to plant tomatoes or whatever we're going to plant in there. Right now, she's sleeping and she wants to want, and she wants her mommy. She's asleep and she's wanting you. I mean, she's talking in her sleep, or you, or I don't know. So, I'm drawing out my plans at the same time. And I'm doing this video, so I'm gonna put my stock tank in the corner, which would be towards the front, not the back. So this is gonna be backwards. So turn it around this way. One stock tank is perfect right here because we're gonna inside the stock tank in the corner. We have two bales of hay, but that one stock tank will be putting in, in the, the our, our sign, our name, Mars Burgers. It's a mouse burger, but they have an S on here. We're gonna put that in there as our so people driving down the road can see our name. And maybe put a couple of those stakes you put in the ground that makes the light come on after night, the solar lights, so it can mark off where our name is on our little tank. Well that's what happens where you going. Where are you going? Are you just going back out to scoop some poop and spread it? or? Oh. Okay, well. Have fun. <laughs> Cat's got my husband's tongue. Um, I'll, when, when you're sick, that's all you want is mommy. It's sad. Anyway, our name's going here. So put that in here. And then that's going here in the corner. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Can't see me. But that's going to go in the corner right by the driveway coming into the house. And I want to plant flowers in there, but um, I'll just have to figure out how to do that after we get it moved in here. We're going to put that there. And that's right by the driveway. But on this, whoops, on this side of the garden near the cattle pen, and I have another one of those stock tanks. And that's where I'm going to have my herbs. Like that. My herbs on one side. Herbs on this side. Oops, that's my herbs there. And then the name for the house here. And then I'm going to make the, the big 
30 foot or 40 foot posts that I was telling you about. I don't know whether to do it up and down like this or whether to do it this way. If I do it this way, I probably can do... I would go outside, but I'm afraid Ruru's going to chase me. He's been doing that a lot lately. And if he keeps it up, he's gone. Um, so I'm, I'll, I'll, if I go this way, I might can get more in the garden because that's like, it's long, more longer than it is wide. So, and so I probably can do at least 10 rows, maybe 10 40 foot rows. So that's a pretty good sized garden. And then each 40 foot, I can plant lots of stuff in there. Like, uh, I'm going to do, uh, call it college cabbage, cauliflower, um, uh, both green and red cabbage, red and white cauliflower, um, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Hopefully I can get the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts to grow because that's really hard for me to grow. I like to grow some celery. I have some things in the greenhouse and I need to water the heck out of because I planted the seeds already. I want them to grow so at least I can have that to transplant in the garden. And because uh, that would be nice. Then I'm, if I can get everything to grow really good, I like to find out where the farmer's market is around here and go to the farmer's market and sign up to sell things. I don't know where or how it's going to work. I can sell whatever I can. I don't want to be able to can and save food for us to eat too. So, trying to figure out which way is better to do the garden. What do you think? Should I do it lengthwise like this or the narrow way when I plant my garden. I got the two stock tanks on both ends and there's a fence. There's a fence in this area here too, a little one with evergreen trees as a windbreak. I like to plant some more evergreen trees along here too to fill that in so when they grow up it, less wind can blow through and it makes it easier to travel uh, in the driveway without the snow drifting or whatever because the wind blowing. But we have evergreen trees on both sides of the driveway. So that's that's one way of doing it. <clears throat> Up and down. So you think I should go the, the short way? Because we have a, like... This is so backwards. Like, ugh, right here in the middle, we have a wind, a windmill, and and the well. That's this way. The well is like right here, and then back here is where the cattle's at. All all through here, way down that way, <laughs> down the hill. But we have a great big. Oh, my neck hurts. Great big um garden area. But I'm gonna. David wants to have a whole bunch of tomatoes. I would like to make ketchup, um, stewed tomatoes with okra in it, and I'd like to make uh spaghetti sauce, tomato soup. And then when we want something, we just open up the jar, and there's it's halfway made or ready to add something to it. I'm going to lay this down here. Pick up my phone and stop sitting crooked. Maybe I can save my neck from hurting so much. Now I feel like I'm backwards here. <sighs> I was snacking on the on the those magic circle magic treasures. It's like cheap generic cereal. Like Lucky Charms. Yum yum. <laughs> So, and then you can watch me grow my garden. Let's see, I'm trying to turn this. Uh, my neck hurts. And I'm going to leave space to be able to drive the lawnmower between the rows so I can keep the grass down in the garden area.
and then weed eat right up by the those posts. But it's gonna be a lot of work, and I'd like to grow some corn and watermelon and things like that too. I'm gonna get my as, asparagus planted, um, and some buy some strawberry plants and plant those with the asparagus. And then another tank, I'm gonna have. Uh, It's like David, it's leaving. But I don't know where he's going. And then uh, in the other one, have some more asparagus and have some rhubarb with it. Then I get my elderberries planted and plant some flowers where I want them. A lot of work, a lot, a lot of work. Um, I have planned out whether I get to do it or not is another story. Yum to what? The rhubarb or an asparagus, <laughs> strawberries, or all of them. <laughs> I went out. We didn't get the door closed on our chicken coop last night. David said it was closed, but it wasn't. And I, uh, we lost squeaky or white rooster last night and um, we lost a yellow chicken last night I don't know how many more we lost but I used to have 11 14 uh, all together th with three roosters um, um, now we have big red and Roo Roo because squeaky died and then so that's down to two roosters. And then it was 11 hens. So I have to count how many hens we actually have sometime today. And see how many we have left from the 11 that we had. Because we had three white ones. And now I think we only have one. So we lost two white ones. I don't know. But now that they know that that door is there and if it's open... They're going to get in there um, and they're going to, they're going to get in there and they're going to um, kill them and we won't have any. So I'm just going to get my incubator filled up and have some more baby chicks. <laughs> I can keep them separated from the other ones, but that's what I'm going to do. Because I like the eggs, and I can probably sell those at the farmer's market, too. So much work. Yeah. I'm going to be kind of sad, because um, probably going to end up getting rid of Amber's rooster. Find someone to take and adopt him, or we're just gonna have to get rid of him like we did old Yeller, which is sad. But as long as he keeps trying to attack me, I don't feel safe. He's got too much old Yeller blood in him. I never wanted any roosters, anyhow. <laughs> as long as we have at least one rooster, we can still incubate chickens. But if we don't, then we'll just have to buy them at the at the like farm and ranch building or something, you know. Since we're not going to Blue Stem, we're in a different area. And there's another place here, or a few places that we can get things like that. So I don't know. I don't know why David left and didn't even say a word, to, not one word. He just like waved goodbye, <laughs> and I saw his blazer leave. So, oh, I don't know. He had the trip. If he had the trailer on, he could have went and got. No, it's closed today. I'm crazy. He's gonna be picking up his uh, new toy tomorrow. I call it. A, he calls it a toy. It's uh, his lawnmower that he's going to be mowing lawns with businesses, learn residentials. He's trying to get 
some in this area. Well, that's okay if he would have interrupted the live because he he we had our video last week or yeah last week and you called us nuts or something like that <laughs> goofballs that's what you said goofballs that's okay that's just us I see Ruru he is so mean to even to the the chickens. Bites them really hard. I don't know about that bird. <laughs> and I'm afraid if I lose him, then a uh, big red might start getting aggressive. Hopefully not. He might be happy because he's the only rooster left. You know what I mean? That way he don't. He can have the the chickens whenever, and don't have to worry about competition. And maybe he won't get aggressive towards me. Hopefully not. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't have to go back to Wisconsin for a while. That was a long drive, wasn't it? Was it scary? The trip? We just drove an hour yesterday to an auction to sell David's lawnmower and his lawnmower for the tractor. I feel like I'm going to burp. Excuse me, I burped. <laughs> and I really need to lose some weight. I want to get I, I want to get um, a deck built here on the side of the house so we can have a porch. And then I'm going to put on the corner of the porch my, uh, uh, what's it called, Church of the E, electric guide, or you get on it and your arms go back and forth and your, and your legs pedal up and down at the same time. And it helps you, not like step climbing, but glider. I, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I want to, um. Put on the porch so I can go outside and exercise uh, daily. Start out slow and work my way up to as long as it as I can handle. So I'm hoping to do. But I have to get my porch built first, and I'm going to get the eaves or whatever that get the water so it don't drain into the on the porch. It goes off on the outside. And then hook some water and attachment uh, to catch the water into big containers so we can have water storage to water the garden or plant, uh, uh, plants around the house or the, the birds and things like that. And then I want to get, I'm, I'm just talking my head off, but I want to get one of those um, water things that you put your water in and it filters through it. And then you can drink pure filtered water because I want to take my water catchment and use it to save money because you never know when when we don't have electricity, we won't have water because that's how our, our well um, runs. It runs off electricity. Then we can get that shed fixed for the cattle and put water catchment on it and then take that to their trough and let it fill up their trough every time it rains. And then we have to find a way of getting water when it don't rain. Let's see. I'm a goofball all the time, too, so don't feel bad. You probably got it from me. <laughs> Probably because you know when you when you're coming home, it's like oh, when I get there, I don't have to worry about traveling no more. I don't know. Just like when I'm going to uh, Topeka or whatever, and I'm traveling, and it's like it seems like forever to get there, but on the way home, it's like oh, so much faster. Maybe it's 
feel like it's going downhill. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah. I'm going to start regularly. And we need to, if we're going to lose weight together, anybody who wants to work, work on losing weight, uh, not just Joanne, but anybody who wants to. <laughs> Sounds like David. It's only scary when David drives. But, yeah, I don't know. Only because I, I don't want nothing to happen and I, because we, we only get one life and one, the vehicle, I mean, you can only wreck it so many times and then you don't have one. Sometimes you only get it once and one wreck is it <laughs> for everything. I hope I can get the garden. And I'm going to plant some all kinds of flowers too. Some echinacea. And and then I'm going to try to go to Amazon.com and get some of these herb uh, medicinal properties books that I can use for my herbs to, to know how to make the tinctures, how, uh, how to make the salves. And other things that I'm going to be using the herbs for, besides cooking and teas and drying them out for my soaps that I make. So, I don't know. Learn as I go. But that's what I'm going to try to do. Because I can make all kinds of things with those uh, flowers and stuff. And grind them up and put them in things, uh, spices, parsley, and dill, and stuff like that. We're, we have a whole bunch of watermelon. We're going to be planting watermelon, too. I have humongous areas to plant here. Just to never been well, they used to have a garden a long time ago, but um, it's been years, and this will be the first time it's been gardened since at least, I don't know, how long, many years. But I'm going I'm to be growing and hoping to have lots of goodies to eat, healthy foods. And then I'm not going to just, it's ready to pick. I'm not just going to pick them all. And like I always did before, I'm then just going to take uh, what I need for that meal that day. What Go outside. Like I'm going grocery shopping for breakfast. Go pick some greens to put in my uh, smoothie, you know, to drink the smoothie. Thanks. And then Then I can get some... Uh, something for lunch, go out to the garden, pick out what I want from the garden that's already ready. Instead of trying to say, say, all oh, this is ready, I need to pick it all at once. I don't want to do that. I've always made that mistake of doing that before and things don't get eaten fast enough and then you waste it. So, that's, that's what I need to do. I might be able to, uh, Plant some. I I might have to put a fence around my garden area because we we have our uh, chickens free range out here, and if they eat it, I might not have anything. So I have to put a fence around the garden. So because they go everywhere, they go out with the cows. They go out in the field. <laughs> they go everywhere. So I need to. I don't want an electric fence, but I want a fence to help detour them out of the way from the garden so I can get in there and work and not have to worry about the chickens destroying it. I hope. (laughs) 
أحسن Do you have any more questions? Was the was the house still in one piece when the boys were there by themselves? Is there anything you'd like me to plant? I'm also going to plant the yellow squash, zucchini, lots of zucchini. I'm going to have more zucchini than yellow squash because yellow squash grows a lot easier than zucchini does. And uh, the spaghetti squash and acorn squash and butternut squash, all kinds of them. I'm just going to plant them and, and try to plant things that, that'll go with them to help keep the weeds out. Weeds out, yeah. <laughs> help keep the bugs out. Yeah, me too. What kind of fruits I can grow? Well, I wanted to grow those wolf berries. Like the Ninja Red Wolf Berries, and plant those and make my own Ninja Red without the. Uh, I'm having some pains in my chest. <sighs> that chicken scared me so much today. I don't know what it is. Hi, Mama J. How are you today? Talking about planting things in the garden. I drew out some plans here on my... my. Uh, this is off backwards for me. I don't know if you're still on here. I saw and then it, it's down to one person again. Anyway, I have my plans here. And I have here... Uh, backwards. Uh, my... Uh, an area where we're going to have the the name tag for the house for who lives here. And on the other side is going to be my herbs. And I want to get a couple more stock tanks to go in between. I have four of them in the whole length. And uh, grow herbs in there and my asparagus and uh, uh, asparagus and strawberry in one bit. And then a, oh, I'm going to have to have my sweet potatoes. I'm going to have a lot of sweet potatoes in May and then I'll plant in two more. So since the asparagus comes back every year, there has to be a stock tank just for asparagus and the strawberries will stay in there and the rhubarb comes back every year. So I'll have a lot of asparagus and rhubarb and strawberries if I can keep, keep them growing. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to do that. I know. I'm probably going to get rid of that one rooster because um, I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm going to draw out my... I need to get little sticks, too, so when I put the, the plant into the ground, I can mark it because sometimes I'm walking around looking at the garden. And, what did I plant here? Uh -huh. I guess I'll figure it out when it comes up or whatever, you know. Then if I don't know what the plant looks like, I don't know how to distinguish it from the weeds since then the weeds just kills it and then I don't have anything. We don't need that. And since I'm going to be growing a garden in an area unfamiliar to me, uh, I have to figure out, I don't know uh, it, if too much rain goes, how it drains. Where it might water might sit in the area and make it too wet or I don't know, but I have lots of areas I can grow and uh, hopefully I can please my husband with the garden as well because I don't want him to say that I'm not 
doing good on the garden. Asparagus, doesn't it automatically come back every year? I'm gonna that I'm gonna put mine in the stock tank. That way it stays in that one spot all the time. And I'm gonna put two stock tanks with asparagus because I'm gonna have strawberries with one and rhubarb with the other one. But I, I rotate like my tomatoes and potatoes and things like that from one area um each year because I guess that they take out uh, I was going to say properties. They take out things from the garden, the nutrients and things, and then they put in other things. And if you put them in there in the same year, every year, same time, I say, it, plant the same place every year, then you, it's taking all the nutrients out and it's not working right. I learned that hard way. <laughs> but we used to garden in this one area, and I think, I don't, don't know if we did it seven years or if we did eight years, but that garden was beautiful. I liked, I liked working in it. But I never can keep up with the weeds. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try really hard. Here comes one of our chickens running like it's scared to death. <laughs> I like watching them. They look like little baby dinosaurs. <laughs> I had a bunch of potatoes I was going to plant, but we are drying them out after I cut them to have an eye on each one, and they molded. A fabric pot. What's that? Oh, you mean I can take like an old pair of jeans and sew them shut, fill them up with dirt, and hang them on the clothesline and grow in them? <laughs> I don't know if I could do that or not, but that'd be funny. Well, if I open the door, they might all come running to me. I can see if that would work or not. <sighs> Bear with me here. This here was a rooster that, I mean, the chicken that was running towards the house. If I stand out here, you might see him running. I'm sorry if I have a glare from the sun. I don't see any. There's one over there, but it's not running over here. This near is still standing here. <laughs> but if I get my Gryptera lava fly larvas, they'll all come running. I'll get a pinch of it. I need. I need to buy me some more. Fifteen dollars a bag for one pound bag. This stuff here. You don't need it, pretty tat. This is for the chickens. So open this up and give them a pinch. They set me down here. Okay. Pretty tat, it's for the chickens. <laughs> My cat wants it. Because she thinks it's a kitty snack. Okay, let me turn you around. Maybe you can see him running. Hey, girl. Here. Here. <laughs> that one's not running. Roo, roo. Big red. One more. I'll do one more um, handful, and that's it. And I guess they're not going to come running after all. Joy, nice out today. Well, just two of them. The others are out. Probably eating corn from the cows.
that happened. Better than the coon. Let's see here. I don't know what happened. Okay, what I do here? <sighs> Trying to figure out how to get back on here. How do I? Can you hear me? I know you can't see me. I'm trying to figure out what to do to make my... Okay. <laughs> Boy, the wind got me. Can you see me okay now? Sorry about that. Looky here. Hey, Jack. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. I guess she <laughs> she don't want to say hi. No, there, we still have some snow. A lot of it melted. <sighs> Put a text on my lap now. She's grabbing the phone. I don't know what happened. My my phone uh, fell off my tripod. I want to get a I want to get a tripod like yours, man. Can you tell me how you where you got it from again? What's going on with the chickens? And it's being noisy. I don't care if it's windy out. I don't care if it's cold out. I don't care if it's raining out. When it's dark and I put those chickens to bed, I'm going to make sure um, the door is shut myself. <clears throat> no more accidents. That way, if anything goes wrong, it's my fault and I don't have to worry about getting upset because it would be my own fault for not taking care of them right. She's sitting over there. Excuse the mess. I'm drinking my Mountain Dew still. But I do have my water. Let's see? But. I need to get serious about my. My weight. Losing weight. I want to go down to size. I know I'm supposed to be talking about my garden. But it's going to help me. With losing weight, because I'm going to be eating healthier once it grows. Hmm. I'd like to get me one of those. But I don't know. I don't know what happened to my phone, how how I dropped it like I did, but it went straight down. Was it loud when it hit the ground? <laughs> we still have rock to lay out on the driveway. Tomorrow I'll be doing uh, my Wills and Wellness video at 3 o'clock. Seems like everything comes from China nowadays, or all time, it seems like. I like it, the that tripod because it has that little light on there. So you can hold it out away from you and have a light, a light on you and have a better view without having to have a shadow or glare. Like, see the shadow and then 
the light outside changes it. So, I don't know. But tomorrow I'm going to be reading uh, some more of my 350 ways of using the thieves' products from Young Living. And then later on, when I get that book done, I'm going to start making those uh, different things and and then showing how to use it when I use it, whether it's a cl cleaning something or or however it's supposed to be used. Yeah, I bet we we ordered the the wood for the ceiling. Uh, all, all in there and then for the walls and it's supposed to be here sometime soon hopefully David's upset because it hasn't gotten here yet but it's coming from North Carolina not coming from China but coming from North Carolina that's a long ways and he thinks he's being dipped on his money he spent well I can understand that it's been a whole lot of money and then don't know if, if they're a legit company, which it had a five five star on it, but when you spend as much money as he spent on the wood, and wood is not cheap, he he don't want to spend any more money, uh, because spending it too fast and not knowing if he's getting stuff. But he's getting his lawnmower tomorrow, and he's getting our a new animal for our homestead tomorrow. That video will be on Candace Misfit tomorrow as well, once it gets here. So, can't wait for that to happen. Gonna have fun. Got so much to do, it's not funny. Got a lots, lots and lots of dreams for this place where we're living. I want to be able to make it beautiful because when the sun's out I might as well be out there working in it you know and because if I'm in the house I'm gonna be doing like I am right now sitting my ASS on the chair and not do much which is not good can't you can't lose weight sitting on your butt gotta get up and move as much as you can especially if I want to get 15,000 steps in every day agree <laughs> Tracking number, yeah, we have a tracking number. I, I, I'm gonna check it after I get off here on my email because that's one thing David wants to know exactly where it's at. And if you don't hear back from where it's at by Monday, which is tomorrow, he's gonna call the guy and give him a little, little bit of his mind. So hopefully, they have some, I have some answers on the email today. I don't know where he's at though. Like I said, he left without even talking to me just waved <laughs> it's like, okay. he wouldn't have messed up the life because things happen you know what track you would be asking questions I mean uh, witching with the bee So, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. I don't know what the weather's going to be like, but it is starting to get warmer out. That's good. My nose is just... I need to trim my fingernails, as you can see. They're getting long, 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 long. I don't want to, though. I will. Don't be seeing the video, because I'm going to say, don't you want to watch my video? And he'll get on there and look for it. I want to get my hair cut so bad. So. I don't know. I've been watching those paranormal activity videos. There's a four-part one. 
that I've been watching on CJ's. And uh, today I'm doing the third part after I'm done with this video. I'm going to be watching the third part. And one of the ghosts, I know this has nothing to do with gardening, but I'm going to say it anyhow. One of the ghosts in the house, a female, with a provocative voice, I mean really soft, she says, if you lay on the bed, I don't remember exactly, but it sounded like, okay, you know. And he got all excited, so he went over, and the guy that was sitting on the bed got off the bed and sat on a chair, and the two ladies were sitting on the couch, and they're all saying, go ahead and lay down. Listen to what the, they tell you. This is going to be interesting, you know. <laughs> so he's laying on the bed, and the lady's talking. She has a real soft voice. Uh, you can hear her plain as day like she's alive sitting right next to you. And, and then he's laying there, and, and there's a guy ghost talking too, and they're both talking. And this is the most uh, verbal ghosts I've ever been on the videos I've watched. And it, and she's telling him, or someone saying, relax. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm I'm almost finished or whatever. And then he he kind of lifts up his head and lifts up his legs really fast and grabs his by his ankle. Says, Something just pulled my hair on my legs. Boy, that hurt, you know. <laughs> uh, he was scared inside that house. So. Anyway. I can't wait to get started planting. But I don't. I want to make sure that it's not going to be freezing out and then ruin everything. So I got to make sure. Take care of everything the best I can. Get everything planted and do my best to take care of it. So. Oh, I want to plant some blueberries. I have some blueberries in the freezer and I was told you take the blueberries from the grocery store and put them in the freezer. I don't know how long they have to be in there, but make sure they're frozen. And then you put them in the blender with water and blend them until all the seeds come out of the blueberries. And then you take and strain it and then uh, the, keep the seeds, and after they dry, you can plant them. Then you can have you blueberry uh, plants. So if you want to grow some blueberries, I might do that as a video. Uh, and then you, and then have those seeds, and go ahead and plant them. And then when they start growing, I can transplant them where I want the blueberries to grow. Since we're going to probably stay here, I'll be able to take care of them. I just got to find a permanent place for them to grow and have blueberries anytime I want them. And then I'll have my asparagus and my strawberries. And then uh, I can probably do the same thing with raspberries. Just get some from the store and freeze them. And then run them through the blender. Get them all the, the seeds away from the fruit. Which is sad because you don't get the fruit. But then you take the seeds out. Plant them. And then you got your raspberries. It probably takes a couple years before you can get anything out of them. We want to plant some nuts, nut trees, and some fruit trees out here, too. Uh, find an area to plant those. And uh, then we'll have nuts and fruits. And then when when we pass on and no longer here, the his next person that lives here will have all those fruit trees and nut trees and, and elderberries and blueberries and whatever else strawberries, asparagus. If they keep it going, then they have that food too. That's nice, huh? Yeah. I'll have to go on Amazon.com to get containers to put all those fruits in when they start growing enough where I have to get them all picked before the birds eat them. Then I can sell that at the farmer's market. Probably, I'll eat them too at, on a daily basis in a smoothie or something, or just put some in a dish and whipped cream on top. <laughs> you know, whatever. I could make a colorful fruit salad. So I don't know. Got five more minutes. 
and then my hour gonna be up. You plan on having a garden? Amber's, I think Amber's wanting to have a garden. Some mice got into her seeds and she's wanting help to sort them out. And I, I'm not even close enough to help her, so can't help her. If I keep it up, I'm going to be 300 pounds before long. Yeah. I wish I could make my own yogurt, make my own butter and stuff like that, but I don't have I don't have a cow to milk. We have cows out here, but they're not milking cows, it's just for the calves. But there's a place probably bet between here and Sabetha uh that has rabbits and have ice cream so you know they got milk all this stuff they're selling and I can go in there and buy milk from them probably and then I could make me or buy cream from them and make my own yogurt and make my own cheese and butter and stuff like that I don't know maybe not I'm going to try something and see if this works. Did it go? Hey, it worked! I learned something new. When, I, when I'm wanting to read a specific thing, I just click on it and bring it up there, and I can see the words easier. I, I just learned that from another channel that I was watching. Your eyes look so blue on this here. Pictures. So that's neat. <laughs> so. I want to try to figure out how to do a giveaway once I hit like 200 subscribers on this channel. But I don't know what to give away unless I do a money order. A money order. A gift card. That might work. So. Thanks what? About the eyes? It's a tree. So. I need to figure out how this here StreamYard uh, works. And I'm not going to pay money for it. I'm just going to, to use it until I hit a thousand subscribers and then I can have YouTube uh, live videos. So, I don't know. When my clock sings to me, <laughs> my birds, when they sing, it won't be too much longer and I'm going to have to get off of here and get my kitchen clean so I can make some supper for tonight. And uh, watch my part three of my paranormal activity, The Blair House. It's supposed to be really haunted and it sure sounded like it on part two. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you for watching uh thank you for watching my live today. I appreciate both you and Mama what's her name? Mama J, which I'm not sure who she is. I'm le I'm still learning uh people. But thank you for both of you for coming in and, and visiting with me and uh 
I hope like everything I can get my channel to grow because what are you going to make? I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm probably going to make only have two potatoes and one sweet potato <laughs> so that don't leave much for potato wise but we got canned goods which I want to get used up so I have room to put my canning foods in when I can and then uh, probably do a steak and, and split the sweet potato because it's a big one and a vegetable and probably make something for dessert like peach cobbler or something so I have peaches from our peach tree in the freezer just got to de-seed them and uh, uh, cook them up and add sugar to them and my spices and then make my what do you call it? I was going to say dumplings, but it's not dumplings. You know, your the topping to make it the crust. Not pie, because I'm not very good at pie crust yet. I'm still learning that. It always falls apart when I try to make pie. What do you mean by not my house? I'm not understanding. Oh, the birds are singing. That's telling me that my video is about ready to go. So. Can you explain what you mean by not my house? I'm not understanding that. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a different Blair. It's spelt different too. It's in it's in Delaware. You, you should watch it. It's a good it's a good one. <laughs> it's very haunted. And the attic is, is where they spent a lot of time. Uh, there the these two ladies were the psychics. They're sitting on the couch, and one of the guys said he wanted to go check out downstairs. And she goes, "You shouldn't go by yourself." And he goes, "She goes, as long as we can hear you, you should be okay." And he's walking through there, and then he's going in this one room, and something behind him made a noise, and he jumped back and looked around, couldn't find it what it was, but it was there. And she said, if he would have went into the room, it would have slammed the door shut, and it would have locked it. And he would have been stuck in there and she couldn't get it open because the lock's on the inside. <laughs> so. Anyway. I guess I don't want to go, but my, my time is up. Um, I guess some people do two hours, three hours. Some people do marathons and seeing how long they can stay live. But I'm just doing lives now so that way if I ever grow my channel, uh, my my 10,000 views, I think it's 10,000, might be 4,000, but my views would be done uh, and by the time I get my subscriber, my 1,000 subscribers, and then I'd be set. But I ain't, I'm not going to rush on getting that done. I did get an email. I don't know if anybody watching uh, that's a YouTuber ever got an email from somebody who uh, tries to get you to buy views or buy subscribers and they they help you grow your channel is that a, sp a spam of some kind or is that legit i mean it's kind of weird uh why someone would be asking for me to pay that's like so much money for thousands of a hundred subscribers or whatever and, and they give you three different things to choose from and you pay and then they give you subscribers and views and help your channel grow but I don't know if, I'd rather have someone who's willing to stick with me and even if I only have 70 subscribers and it never grows at least I have a few people that actually want to watch otherwise they wouldn't be uh, subscribed to me 
and not everybody that subscribed to me watch. And a lot of people watch that won't subscribe. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. And it was in my email. But that's how I got my Grubterra. was from an email. They said they wanted to help my channel. And I'd be helping them at the same time. So they gave me a bag of the Grubterra uh, fly larva for, for free. It was $14.95 bag. And uh, they gave it to me to help promote my channel. They said it gets lots of views. Well, it didn't get a lot, but it gave me some. <laughs> and I talked about it, and they said all I have to do is send them the video so they can see what I said about their company and I could have it for free and then anyone who wanted to get some could get uh, 10% off by using the code but I won't be uh, uh, affiliated with them because they don't have any open spots but I thought it was okay because I got my Red Terra snacks for the chickens and I get a discount next time I shop so that works for me and I'm looking on my emails every day to see if there's somebody else wanting to um, support me on my channel and I'm jumping for them if they do it you know and all you do is a review over what they send you and talk about it on your channel and then answer the questions that they ask you to to say or talk about their product and then either you get the product for free or you get discounted for things like I did with my snacks I got for the chicken so bring them on I'm ready for more <laughs> well I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go I uh, hope to see you tomorrow on my live video for uh, Oils and Wellness with Marcia it's at 3 o'clock I'd be willing I'm able to do it. <laughs> Sometimes things get in the way and I can't get it, but I made it today and hopefully I can make it tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Ta-ta. Love you guys.